Thanks so much, John. Greetings to everyone, and sorry that I can't be with you in person. Congratulations especially to The Lancet on the release of Global Surgery 2030. Today, an astonishing 5 billion people cannot get safe, affordable surgical and anesthesia care. 90% of people in low and lower middle income countries can't even get basic surgical care. The Lancet's report shows us how we can close this gap. Its proposed time-bound indicators, for instance, are critical. They can motivate governments to provide the universal and affordable surgical and anesthesia care that people deserve. The stakes are extremely high because failing to fix this problem will have a substantial impact on people's lives, well-being, and even on their economic health going forward. 33 million people face catastrophic health expenditures due to payment for surgery and anesthesia care each year, and an additional 48 million cases of catastrophic expenditures are attributable to the non-medical costs of accessing surgical care. That's 81 million people that are plunged into poverty every year. There's also evidence that low- and middle-income countries will suffer enormous losses in economic productivity over the next 15 years if this access gap persists. For these reasons, the Lancet Report's findings make an important contribution to global public health. They're also an essential step to people living healthier, happier, and longer lives. It shows that we have to think in a fundamentally different way about health care and surgery's role in it in developing countries. Not only is access to surgery the right thing to do morally, it's also important to ending extreme poverty and boosting shared prosperity. I want to thank my good friend John Mira for his leadership on this effort and thank everyone at The Lancet for doing such good and important work for the poorest people on the planet.